Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just last night, I did a video on how to produce tile for sections. And the gentleman finally figured out he was using the wrong one. There are two of them that are almost the same. Under your polygon tool is the graph paper. And right here, you can set it for like four by four, and it'll draw four squares each direction. And if you hold down your control button, you get an even. But underneath your text tool, is the table tool and you can set it for four by four holding down your control button so they almost look the same but they act different so this is the table this is the graph we're going to take the graph and go to object and ungroup it when you do that you have squares if we take the table and go to group and break the table apart you don't have squares. Well, we actually have to ungroup it. Now you have just lines. This would be really helpful if you're setting up name tags and if you haven't heard about tag cuts that actually does this better. But this will do lines where this does individual boxes. So this is going to work a lot better. The graph paper works a lot better if you're doing like an item and you want it, let's just draw something. P, put it in the center of the, or put it in the center of the graph paper. And then if we take the graph paper and I think you actually, we actually still have to have to power clip it. So let's go to object power clip. Let's make sure we have our circle selected. Go to object power clip, place inside frame and then you click on the frame, and then click on the frame and ungroup the frame, and then you have bits of that item that you could spread out and do a mosaic tile or you know something that won't fit in your laser. That will not work on this. You can't do that with this, because when you do, you're just breaking up lines. So let's fill that in, and now let's go I think this is still a group. Yep. So we're going to go to power clip. Make sure you pick that. Go to object, power clip, place inside frame. It just doesn't do it. He it says it's an invalid object. So that's the difference between the table and the graph paper. So they're right here together. Polygon to graph paper. Text to table. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.